Hello, my name is Alex Schwartz, and today I'm going to teach you how to remote control your Windows PC from the internet using VNC and Dynamic DNS. The first thing you want to do is hold down the Windows key and press the R button to open up the Run dialog, then type in CMD, and then hit Enter to open up a command prompt window. Next, type in ipconfig slash all into the command prompt window and hit Enter. You're going to have to scroll up a bit if you have a lot of uh, network adapters like I do to get to the data that we need. What you're looking for here is the adapter that you use to connect to the internet. You need to write down the IPv4 address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS servers that are listed. We need to make these dynamic settings static by manually assigning them to our network connection. So you need to open up the network connection control panel by typing in ncpa.cpl into that run menu again and hitting enter. Next, right click the network adapter that we wrote down the IP config information on and click Properties. Select Internet Protocol Version 4 or just Internet Protocol if you're in Windows XP and click Properties. This is where you can enter the data that you got from IP config. In order to make your VNC server accessible from the Internet, you're going to need to forward the VNC port 5900. Start by going to portforward.com and clicking the router list in the top left corner. When it comes to setting up port forwarding, every router is different, so you're going to need to find your specific router model in this list. When you click the model name, you'll be brought to a list of applications that you can forward. Find Ultra VNC and select it. Follow the instructions, keeping in mind that you want to forward port 5900. Next, we're going to need to download Ultra VNC. Select the version that you need for your operating system, probably the full 32-bit installation. Once it's downloaded, start the installer and just follow the default options until you get to the Select Additional Tasks screen. Once you're there, you're going to want to select Start or Restart Ultra VNC Service, Create VNC Desktop Icons, and Ultra VNC Server Driver Install. Then click Install. It's going to download some files that it needs to finish the installation. Once the installer is finished, click the Ultra VNC server icon on your desktop. The Ultra VNC icon should now appear in your taskbar. Right click it and select Admin Properties. Ensure that 5900 is listed as the main VNC port and change your VNC and view only passwords to something complex. You'll need the VNC password to remotely connect to your computer. Once you're done, click Apply and then OK to leave the property page. Right click the VNC icon again and click Install Service. The VNC icon will disappear for a few moments and then reappear. Next, download and run the DINDNS Updater Installer. The default options are OK here, but disable the DINDNS Internet Guide. When the installer finishes, you're going to be prompted to enter your DINDNS account credentials. We don't have an account, so we're going to have to create one by going to DINDNS.com and clicking Create Account at the top of the page. Fill out this form to register for an account. Don't forget to click the link in the confirmation email to make your account active. Once your account is active, enter your credentials into the updater window. You will get a warning window saying that you don't have any hosts configured. You need to click Manage Hosts at near the bottom of the window and it will direct you to the web page where you can create a host. You'll need to log in first. You can add a host by clicking Add New Host and filling out the form to add a new host name. Here you'll be picking the unique host name that will resolve to your home IP address. You can choose from a lot of different domains here. For now, just enter the IP address given on the page in the IP address field. Your updater software will make sure that this is up to date. 
Click Add to Cart to continue the registration process. Click Next and then Activate Services to activate your new host name. Go back to the DIN DNS updater and click Refresh Host List to see the new host you've just created. You need to check the box next to the host name and click Apply. Click OK to exit the configuration window. You may need to right click the DIN DNS updater icon and click Start Updater to get your IP address synced up with the DIN DNS service. That's the end of the tutorial. You should now be able to access your VNC server using any VNC client, such as Mocha VNC for the iPhone or Ultra VNC on another PC. For a step by step written tutorial and my contact information, please check out the accompanying PDF manual. Thanks for watching.